Hey, this is Chad. It is 10 18 a.m. Sunday, October 2nd, and I wanted to read a comment that I just made for the video you see on the screen, which is at band.video. Five Texas red heifers marking the end of days on the Voice of Healing Radio with Michael Petro, Petro. I don't know how you say it correctly. Uh, so, I'll, I'll play the start of this video to give you the feeling of what they're talking about here. As a 13 year old boy, I just, I just was touched in my heart, my heart touch for the Jewish people. Daily newscast, five red heifers arrive in Israel. Is this a Bible prophecy breakthrough that helps pave the way for a third temple? A recent delivery from Texas to Israel is causing quite a stir. Talk is growing that their arrival is prophetic and a prerequisite for the return of the Messiah. Gotta get serious and get into this battle. And what we're watching happening in the governments of the earth and everything is the type of shadow of what's gonna happen in the kingdom. Don't mess with us, don't mess with our kids no more. We're not playing this game. There's so much destruction that's going on with these people. We really need to stand up. See, the Lord has given us the authority to break the yokes. And it's time that the church gets out of the four walls and gets in the streets and starts talking to Jesus. Jesus Amen. Yeah. Blessings. I just want to welcome all our viewers out there on uh, VOH News. And this is a great topic we're getting ready to get into here. Uh, many of you have heard me talk about end time events and symbolically where we're at in, in God's timing and seasons, that prophetic voice where the Lord speaks to us. And recently you've heard me uh, talk about the red heifers that have been uh, sent over to Israel, which has really just happened in the last you know week. Um, God is speaking to the church right now, and our, our guest today is literally the guy that has uh, brought those red heifers to Israel. And uh, Byron, I just want to thank you for coming on with us. We're here with Byron Stinson, and Byron, it's like uh, an amazing thing what the way the Lord's using you in this in this season. Thank you, brother. Well, yeah. hey, first off, I want to tell you that I love you, and I uh, thank you for coming to see me and for us being able to talk about this. There's so much information that I think the world needs to understand. It's very confusing about the red heifer. Even the rabbis that I work with in Jerusalem, uh, they'll tell you plainly that it seems a little crazy, you know, to bring a red cow and all these things. They don't understand exactly why that... God would uh, say in Numbers 19 that you speak to Israel, ask Israel to bring a red heifer and then do the uh, purification ceremony that's uh, involved in the red heifer. Mm -hmm. they, and they, they even point out that uh, Solomon said he didn't even understand. He understood all kinds of things. He understood what God was doing. And all right, so the 411 that's what time it was when i stopped that the information is that christianity is and all of the abrahamic faiths which include judaism and islam along with all the other systems of religion including the emerging religion of transhumanity where the TV is talking about saving the earth or green technology and we all have to give up our rights uh, in order to live within this uh, kingdom of believing in these concepts and getting screwed over and killed by the people that are uh, supposed to be protecting us. So that's a religion too, just what they're talking about in the news with the politics and the perception of reality. So that's the fundamental uh, problem 
is that we're aware of these things, but normally we think, well, we're just going to agree to disagree. You know, I don't believe that the Jewish people or the Christians or the Islamic people have some special relationship with God. And, and we all know that all these wars are based around these supposedly positive, noble ideas. So why, uh, you know, support any of this, uh, really? But these people believe in this stuff, and they it's all about merging the ideas of these stories which you could say them themselves exist within uh, a mental realm for sure but uh, it becomes spiritual when people believe that it's real and and that it's uh, enlightened it's above the physical world so that's where the confusion gets in there, is that I think we do agree on things like that. And I think that all of this, even if I disagree with it, I think that these evil threats of eugenics and destroying the world as some benevolent sacrifice that's ordained by God, which is essentially what all of this Christian Judaism is based on, and people can't see that because that's just not the way that they have experienced it but it plainly says all this in these books you know if you're a christian your job is to protect the uh, jewish people who's to serve them and these rabbis are saying yeah all these goy all these other nations are going to be our footstools our slaves and you can lie to them and murder them and all this horrible stuff within the talmud and all of this so I, basically, I'll read my comment here, but we, we need to address this, most especially because it is an uncomfortable situation, uh, not something that's easy to talk about when we're all so entrenched in our points of view. At around 36 minutes into this discussion, Bishop Michael Petros said that he was connecting with Jewish Israelis around an altar of unity to focus on the 90% they agree on, which I assume is basically that God runs the universe <coughs> and has revealed his will via discipleship and his holy word as managed by a priest class, these rabbis that he has respect for, and a church system. In that spirit, I wish to enter this altar of unity based around uncomfortable facts within the Abrahamic faith that I think would bring more peace and love into this life and world if we worked on these issues together instead of hidden from each other and in emotions of fear and rejection, especially if it's based on misinformation or our own prejudices and projections so I will point to Adam Green who is a pagan on YouTube uh, no more religion is the channel that highlights the awful ideas part of the plane flying over coming from these rabbis that Bishop P Petro Petro has here given his approval of as his faith leaders. They openly say on YouTube that America and the rest of the white West must fall for the Messiah to come, just as Trump appears to have failed us, and DeSantis will surely repeat that trend since both men are openly Freemasonic, Jesuit, and Trump is a Kabbalist. This incineration of the red heifer is connected to this idea of scapegoating. Jesus was sacrificed, as these rabbis believe that the West Rome Edom will be because they sacked the Third Temple. This is a violent, racist, satanic revenge fantasy worse than any Tarantino film. Yet because of indoctrination into these religions, which also include within the secular, political, and alternative media realms, people don't realize that they are passive, aggressive, tribal eugenicist cheerleaders for this Chabad Lubavitch cult of self-sacrifice in order to receive love and acceptance from their manufactured representation of the actual source and destination of the story of life and death beyond. Now, I believe there is a Father God uh, in Mother Nature, but it's just quite simple that you can jump onto that idea and pervert things, just like all these good ideas are perverted. Government, which is connected to God. 
and then you see with the material rationalist uh, scientists academics that they are uh, using technology to enter the spiritual realm with CERN and uh, to have us be transcending to become gods through technology I just want to stop us from hating, fearing, and killing each other, intending to follow the command of our Father in Heaven and our Mother in Earth. So I just, you know, I want to encourage you likewise to go look at Adam Green, No More Religion, and see these rabbis say these terrible, hateful things. Uh, and, and how they sacrifice their own people in uh, Auschwitz. Because they believe that with scapegoating, that you can put the evil cooties that we all played on the schoolyard as a kid, that you could put evil into these other people, and that it's um, what God wants you to do. And, and we need to just, this is bad. So it. it, it in closing, and I'd ask you to also notice, you know, I, I, I watch this InfoWars stuff every day. This is Zion, you know, it's the most Zionist thing. Now, I, it, they, it, it's controlled opposition. And my point is, is that they point to the left with their LGBT and that they, they that the left just believes they can do whatever they want and uh, that's all the rationale they need is that they want to do it so they're going to do it. Well, the right needs to see that they have one eye closed because they're doing the same thing but they're justifying it with this God stuff. It's like, what? You're in support of all these world wars as part of this uh, holy scapegoating, sacrificing people to this God idea? No. So, there will be a schism between us on how we believe on this issue that will be, that you know, this end time stuff is happening. Whether it is ordained by God or whether it is controlled by these people that believe in it and how we react to it, it this is just happening. So, I'm not in any above you position. I'm I'm asking for help and for unity, honestly. Because if we don't figure out the solution to this most deadly game, then we're part of this evil. Thank you very much. Chad Warren signing off.